Uh, I'm about to make an announcement that I had hoped we could avoid, but we think this is the best course of action. It will impose difficulties on some families, but they will, we believe, be uh, only, it will do so only for a short time. I regret the inconvenience, but we think these messages, messages, measures are absolutely necessary. And let me add, they demonstrate that our public health system is working effectively. We are acting as promptly as the evidence requires us to do. Effective tomorrow, we are going to close two intermediate schools and one elementary school in Queens for at least five full school days. So they will be closed all next week. We're taking this action because there are an unusually high level of flu-like illnesses at those schools. Uh, there are documented cases of H1N1 flu at one of them. H1N1 has been documented in four school students at IS 238 as well as in a staff member at the school who is critically ill. More than 50 students have been sent home from this school with flu-like symptoms since Wednesday, May 6th. At IS-5, 241 students were reported absent today, and at PS-16, 29 students were documented with influenza-like illnesses in the nurses' room today. The Health Department continues to see higher than usual reports of flu activity measured by emergency department visits as hospitals. It is greatest in Queens, but it is evident in all five boroughs. So I think the mayor is right by uh, asking that though there be some inconvenience that this is the best procedure to close these three schools for public safety and for the continued safety of the families involved. Uh, I commend the mayor for acting quickly and for acting transparently because the most important thing about this virus is that we as we learn more about it that we share that information with the public. 